These droplets appear to be falling in slow motion. Actually, that's an illusion created by the periodic nature of the pump pushing these droplets out of the tube. Every 60th of a second, a droplet is pushed out of the tube by the reciprocating pump. And every 60th of a second thereabouts, the strobe light flashes. So what we see as a single droplet, for example, that droplet there is in fact a different droplet every 60th of a second. So the droplet is here, then there's a flash, and then it moves down to here, and there's another flash, and it moves down to here, and there's another flash. Now the green dye I've used here is sodium fluorescein, which uh, makes these droplets uh, glow nice and brightly in the strobe light. And the uh, one other thing you need here is you need something to uh, catch the droplets. So you need a little strainer so they don't splash all over the place if you want to make this. And likewise, you probably want a variac to control the intensity of the pump so you don't get a huge big spray. You actually want this thing to break up into a nice stream of droplets rather than just having a big spray of water come out of the pump. So it's fairly easy to make this device. But the other thing you can do with this is that because there's a sixty of a second between each one of these droplets, we can measure the distance between these droplets. And the distance between each sixtieth of a second grows by the same amount. And that sixtieth of a second is exactly how much speed each droplet is gaining in every sixtieth of a second due to the force of gravity. So by measuring the distance between these things and seeing how that increases, we can actually measure the acceleration of gravity. Now, if you want to make this device, you can do some other cool things with it. Uh, you can actually uh, speed up the droplets. You can slow them. You can have flash faster than a 60th of a second. And that gives the effect that the droplets are actually going uphill. And some people like that. So you can have them going down. You can have them going up. And the going uphill is very counterintuitive because this is, of course, not the way gravity works. And what's happening is the strobe light flashes faster than a 60 of a second, so the droplet that was here wants to fall to here, but it doesn't quite have enough time because the strobe light flashes too quickly, and therefore you get the illusion that instead of this drop falling almost to here, that this droplet has moved slightly upwards. So that is all. Thank you for watching.